Thanks for joining me for this video introduction of Servoy's SideNav component. This component is easy to use and will help you to deliver user-friendly menu navigation to your applications. It ships with a complete API and event model and has a UI which is fully customizable via CSS classes. Let's take a closer look. Here I have a basic CRM application which tracks orders and related information. You can see the navigation menu on the left, complete with icons and submenus where applicable. Let's try it out. Clicking on the Customers menu, the user is navigated to this module. You'll also notice that the menu is highlighted to reflect the current location. As I click on Other Menus for Orders and Employees, I navigate the application. However, when I click on the Products menu, you'll notice that not only am I navigating the Products module, but the menu expands, revealing more choices. In this case, the submenu items are showing available product categories. The user can select a category and the data that is loaded in the products module is filtered by this category. The products menu can be collapsed by clicking the small chevron icon next to the menu item. The shippers menu is similar to products. However, clicking on the menu item doesn't navigate but it does expand to reveal choices, in this case, individual shipper records. In the list of orders that the shipper has fulfilled, you will see a pop-out icon, which allows the user to navigate directly to the order. It is worth noting that although I didn't click on the menu itself, the orders menu item is now highlighted and in sync with the module that is shown. This is because the menu component has an API which allows the developer to keep the menu in sync with the state of the application. I have placed a pop-out icon everywhere there is a relationship between entities. And you can see that as I click through the application, the menu is always in sync. Finally, I would like to show that by clicking the hamburger icon, the menu can slide in and out of the form upon which it is shown. Let's switch over to the Servoy developer and look under the hood. Servoy's WYSIWYG form editor allows you to simply drag and drop the side nav component from the palette to the form. Once the component is selected, you will see the design time properties in the properties panel. There are a number of properties, including a variety of style class bindings, which enables the component to be completely customized using standard CSS. The component uses font icons, which is nice because no additional imagery is required. The component exposes event bindings, which allow the developer to capture user events and take the appropriate action. Looking at the component's runtime API, you will find a complete set of properties and methods, allowing the developer to interact with the menu contents, look, and feel. Let's switch over to the code and look at how this API is used to build the menu. We're looking at a method, which is called when the form loads. It initializes the menu. Creating menu items is as easy as passing in an array of simple objects, including the text, font icon class, and optional data. Although this can be anything, I'm providing the name of the form to be opened in this case. It's also easy to include dividers to logically separate menu items. You may remember that the products menu contains sub items, which contain product categories. Here you can see that I've taken product categories from a value list and I'm using the menu API to add child menu items for each category. Also notice that I have included additional information, which can be retrieved later and used to apply a filter when the user clicks the item. Using the same approach, I have included items for the shipper submenu. The only real difference is that I've specified a re record PK instead of a filter in the data section. Finally, let's take a look at the event handler for on menu item selected. When the user clicks a menu item, this method is called and the menu items ID is passed in. We use this ID to retrieve the menu item and parse the optional data that was configured. Control is delegated to the navigate method, which will load the appropriate form, apply any filters, and load a record if a PK was specified. Of course, navigation is only one possible use case. It's really up to you what comes next. For more information, please visit the project site. There is comprehensive wiki documentation, and you can download the component and this example solution. Thank you.